to show you the different panels and the different metals and how this all gets welded on. So this vehicle was hit on the side and he replaced uh, the outer aperture. And the welder we have actually creates a factory weld on each spot. It's all what? Oh, it's a self-piercing rivet. And this is all one panel, isn't it? Yep. The aperture. And then this is a separate panel that goes over top. Yep. Aperture and then the quarter panel goes on after. And then the quarter panel comes on after. And then the roof very last. And because this has to be replaced, per the factory standards, we also have to replace the roof, which then calls for the seam sealer and a uh, um, pop rivets that have to go on there. And they're a certain type of rivet, they're not just any standard. And as you can see, all the welds inside, they get done. So the self-piercing rivet um, is what makes such a easier job for this. There's no welding, there's, I mean, no, no sanding, no bondo, no filler. It just goes right on like that, basically. So we'll show you the roof up here. And this one obviously has a sunroof, so it has a brand new roof. And again, the self-piercing on the top creates a wonderful weld all the way across. And through it. Eddie, how many metals are in this? Or did you have to replace any of the inner aperture, inner panels? I did the inner B pillar reinforcement. I did this the, built B pillar here, B -pillar here reinforcement. The middle piece. Okay. I did the C panel lower. Okay. Here down. I did the inner wheelhouse. And then I did the inner quarter extension. Here. The inner quarter extension, that's here. a new piece as well. Yep. And they come that color or are they? They were all black. They were all black, okay. I did that to match the factory eco. Oh, okay, so you spray this on to match the factory eco, I see. There's no bare metal in the middle. And this is the only sanding you've done on this? Yeah, with a, a scratch in the eco. Oh, a little scratch, yep. okay. There's no bond or color anywhere. Nothing, nice. So now this is going over to cut in to we'll paint the jams. In, and then we'll hang the doors back on and go back over there. Okay, that sounds good. How, how many different types of metal do you think are in this section here? This one side, there's gotta be at least five? There's probably six or seven. Six or seven different types of metals. There's two in the C pillar, there's two or three in the B pillar, and I always want to there. Yeah. So at least six. That's a whole lot of different metals. These cars are made totally different nowadays and you have to have the right equipment to uh, put them together and really know what you're doing so that's the other thing we do here is they print out the factory uh, standards and it tells you exactly what to do and how to do it and all the different types of metals and the airbag procedures, seatbelt procedures, uh, the types of uh, adhesives that they have to use or epoxy or bonding metals. And again, they're color coded with the different types of metals. And it shows us the type of uh, rivets that have to be used. Those are also color coded. It shows the inner structure and how that is assembled and it gives detailed notes. So there's so much uh, research that goes into these things as we put them together. Now I shouldn't say we, Eddie, uh, I don't do it. There's just the original estimate that obviously changes quite a bit. There's some more procedures here for the roof and the quarter panel. Yeah, that one's strictly for the quarter panel. And then there's another one for the roof panel and the opening and this first one was for the B pillar and reinforcements. So there's quite a few, uh, quite a bit of research that's done. This is just a chart. Uh, technician signs off on what he may have done for this job. But uh, there's quite a bit of research, as you can see, that goes into this. This follows the file to show everything that we did. And we also do an enormous amount of photos, maybe somewhere around the area of 300 photos each, each vehicle for the repairs for this so it's a newer truck what year is this truck uh, it's 
see here. 18. 2018. Um, Ford Expedition, the platinum vehicle. All the bells and whistles on this one, and we will put it all together, and it will still have all the bells and whistles on it. So, anyway, just a short video of the such a huge job, uh, and what we have to get done here. We'll just walk over here real quick. I want to show that Walder. There's one of them over here. Where's that Walder at, Eddie? Oh, here it is. Never mind. It's called the Carliner. And it's a pretty heavy gun. And you hold that together, and that pinches all the welds. Um, it's a little dusty right now. But... So anyway, pretty loud in here sometimes. Oh, he also sets it up on the frame machine. Make sure all the measurements are perfect. Here's another one. It's on the frame machine right now, and they're uh, doing their research on it, and he's starting to connect. And then he'll do some pulling on this one here, too. So um, let's just real quick here see what Rob has. What do you have here? What's wrong? Okay, so... Okay, so what he's telling me is he's gonna put that, uh, put this bar right here underneath here, and he will straighten out this rail here. Apparently it's got a little bit of damage to it, and we'll go from there. So Rob uh, does sign language, so we always gotta communicate through sign language. But uh, that's what he's up to. So this is the beginning and start of our day. I'm going to get out of their way and let these guys all get to work.